Welcome collectors, in today's Diecast Emporium review, we are going to be taking a look at several Diecast Masters CAT models. We have the CAT CT660 Day Cab Tractor with XL120 Low Profile HDG Trailer with CAT CB534D XW Vibratory Asphalt Compactor. God, that's a mouthful. And uh, that's the model right here, obviously. And the item number for that is 85601C. And we'll also be taking a look at the CAT CB534D XW Vibrary Asphalt Compactor, which is essentially this one right here, just the same thing, but you can also buy it by, buy it by itself. So before we go further, I'm not going to waste too much of your guys' time here, but I do want to kind of uh, caveat this review with the fact that, unfortunately, guys, I have been really, really sick the past several days, so this is not going to be my best product by a long shot so just bear with me and uh, together we're going to suffer through this and just get through it so be a little bit patient with me today and uh, hopefully this review will still be the same kind of uh, product that you're normally used to getting from me so with that out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at the truck and the trailer first and then we'll just take a look at the um, standalone roller in just a minute all right so just like with most Core Classic Series models, they come in the brown style box. Again, if you're not familiar with that, that's basically paying homage to the parts style boxes that cat parts come in. On the back of this really long box is a picture of the real cat roller over there on the left. And it has some specification details of the truck, the trailer, and the roller. So if you guys are interested in reading that, you can go ahead and pause the video as I will zoom in on all three of those. So again, if you're interested, you can pause the video at each of those three spots and read those. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. So the, uh, the CAT CT660 has been around in the model community now for almost 10 years. Norscott released it in, I believe, 2011, which was about the same time that CAT released the real CT660 for its vocational truck program. And it's nice to see it back, especially since the transport series trucks, uh, the internationals and stuff like that, have been really such a uh, large hit. So it'll be interesting to see just how well received that these are. I will tell you that they are packed very, very tightly into this box. There we go. All right. Um, also, while I'm thinking about it, if you, again, if you don't want to purchase this set with the roller included, you can also just purchase the CT660 with the low boy setup. Diecast Masters offer, also offers that. Here is the catalog with all the Diecast Masters scale model cap products in there. And let's see. I believe it is in here, but let me check just to make sure. Yeah. So there's what I was saying. You can get item number 85503, which is just the CT660 with the low boy, or you can get this version, uh, which, as we mentioned, was 85601C, which is the low boy, the truck, and the roller. All right, let's go to work on getting this out of the box. So the trailer is essentially the same trailer that you have seen before here on Diecast Emporium. With the exception that it's yellow, this is the only set that you can get it in yellow. Let's go ahead and get the trailer out. There's the trailer. Here is the tractor. And here are your two booster axles. As you've seen before, here's the tandem, ax tandem axle and the single axle. All right. 
So, with a roller, to be honest with you, you don't really need these. But for sake of the review, again, if this is your first time seeing one of these Diecast Masters trailers, the way that they hook on is these two notches right here go in here and here. And just to point that out even more clearer, here and here, they simply hook over and down and lock in just like that. And they also turn. So they're pretty functional. The mud flaps are rubber and have XL specialized trailers on them, which look great. The lights are also beautifully replicated. And for the most part, honestly, this yellow looks pretty darn good. So those are the boosters. Here is the trailer. I don't want to spend too terribly much time on it, again, because we've seen this trailer a million times on this channel. The trailer, for the most part, is die-cast metal. It has these plastic inserts here to replicate a wood planking finish, which, again, looks good up on top of the cat yellow. The roller is attached to the low boy by two Phillips screws, which you can see in the center of your screen right there. You can unscrew it, obviously, to remove the roller, and this device right here will pop off. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but that is molded to keep the roller attached to the low boy, but that entire section or piece will simply pop off as soon as you remove those screws. So if you wanted to put any other piece of heavy equipment, cat-heavy equipment, on this low boy, that won't be in your way. As for... The gooseneck, it is removable, and that's helped along by this piece right here, this little plastic notch, which right now it's in the locked-on position. And the way to remove that is to turn it to the left or right side so that it's even. This one seems to be rather stiff. that or I'm just weak from having the flu for about five days but yeah so in theory again I'm not gonna waste your guys time you've seen this 40 times on this channel because I've reviewed all of these trailers but you would move these to the center pop it out and again the low boy will simply drop forward and drop out this trailer though does not have the folding mechanism at the end of the gooseneck like most of the other ones do but there is the trailer. Here, pardon my hand, here is the CT660. Again, this basic casting has been around since 2011. These fender guards are removable if you don't like them. I know a lot of people don't like them. Unlike most of the Transport Series trucks, though, that have the cool feature of the sliding fifth wheel, this one appears to be I don't know if that's coming up on in the light or not. This appears to be fixed, so I don't believe that goose or excuse me. I don't believe that fifth wheel will move. It appears to be fixed into position. The wheels though have changed on this truck. They are not the same as they were on the original truck. The doors don't open and Bob is permanently affixed into the driver's seat of this truck, but, hold on, does the hood open? It opened on the original. Yeah, it looks like it should open. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, the hood does open, just like it does on the original. Mine was just initially stiff. So, there you go. And you do have a fair range of motion in terms of steering. Underneath, because I know there's a couple of you that like to see the chassis of these trucks, 
decent tread pattern and it is different on the front tires versus the tandems in the rear so let's take a look how this truck looks when it's hooked up there you go pretty nice looking load again with just a roller you don't really need any of the boosters So there is the CT660 with the HL120 Low Profile HDG trailer with the 18-inch deck height. God, that's a mouthful. Overall, great model. Now, let's bring out the roller for a closer look and review of that. All right, so this is Diecast Masters, item number 85134, the CAT CB534DXW, Vibratory Asphalt Compactor. Again, another Core Classics model, another reworked and modified Norscott model. This is not the newest asphalt compactor uh, that you can get through Diecast Masters. I will post a link at the end of this video to my review of that. If you're interested in comparing the two or checking them out, consult that video. On the end, at the back of this video, again, the same picture of the roller that's on the back of the box of the uh, low boy set that we just took a look at. And there are your specs if you're interested in looking at those. Go ahead and pause the video now. So let's unbox this together and take a closer look at the roller. So again, this is the exact same model that's on the low boy truck, which is why I wanted to review these together. The only difference is that this roller has Bob permanently affixed to the operator seat, whereas the roller that comes with the truck, there's no Bob in the operator seat. So many collectors are rejoicing right now. But again, these models are very easy to disassemble, so if Bob is that big of an issue to you, you can very easily disassemble these models and remove him. So don't let that detract you from purchasing the model. So these drums, they're very heavy. They have a good amount of buoyancy to them, so they will roll very easily. You can see both of them are rolling very freely. This is an open cab or a ROPS machine. And the articulation works very good here. For some of the finer details... We look at this decal application you can see that those are done very well that they almost look like they're see-through here's another version of it up here the exhaust is plastic but it's done to scale so it looks very good your lights are painted and your caterpillar logo here also shines through so the um, excuse me, the operator seat here and Bob, they don't turn or swivel to a side um, like you would see on the newer rollers and stuff like that. And the reason that is is because that would give the operator a better field of view when he's compacting in reverse or that kind of thing. These stairs are also indented into the casting and look very good. You have the uh, Power Stripe, which Cat debuted in 2007. And again, here's a straight-on look of the roller. And these two lights are painted in silver. And there's your underside look once again. So there you go, collectors. That is a quick review of both the Diecast Masters Cat CB534D XW Vibratory Asphalt Compactor and the new updated CT660 truck and low boy set. I hope you guys found these videos both insightful and helpful. Again, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I, I apologize that these videos were not the uh, not at 100% because I am nowhere near 100% right now. Um, but unfortunately, life goes on. You got to do what you got to do. So um, if I didn't answer a question or if you guys have more, please leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as I can. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video review.